corner. Hey, good evening everyone. Uh, welcome back to my live stream. So yes, I am still uh, doing stuff, traveling and uh, amazing. I'm, I'm visiting uh, families. Uh, uh, my, uh, I'm at my sister house, but the difference is I have my full setup, my full computers. And, uh, and so I have my full desktop and everything. So everything should be good, should be normal. And um, so life is, life is great for me. Uh, so today is Thursday live streaming. Thursday, what we do is we do a uh, member portfolio review. This is where we go and take a look at uh, members, uh, those who post it, and then we talk about and discuss it and ask their thoughts, why they buy certain things, what their strategy is, and we just analyze and help each other. <coughs> we have some people are really, really rich, and some people are really, really poor. And I apologize, but for whatever reason, the last five minutes, I start coughing like crazy. Um, so that's, <clears throat> I think that's, that's just my sister cooking some crazy, stinky Asian food. So, and now it's, I'm breeding, I'm, I'm, I'm walking into the room for the first time. So I'm breeding, so I apologize for that. Yeah, so for those who never been to my show before or kind of new to my show, uh, I, I'm not, I don't script my show. I, I'm the easiest YouTuber out there in the world, easiest. Essentially, uh, I do this every day. I do uh, discussions uh, in Discord, and then after that, um, I just edit, I just put a, a beginning title, and I put an ending title, and I upload it. That's pretty much it, that's all I do. No effort whatsoever. Uh, I rarely ever edit anything. I only edit when somebody asks me to edit, uh, you know, like you know, certain things, and I just edit that out. Or sometimes I don't even upload it. If they ask me to edit something out, I sometimes just don't upload it uh, because I, I don't even want to spend the time to edit, you know? So yeah, so it's it's a different type of, I'm a different type of YouTuber. I, I provide no expertise whatsoever in the world of finance, zero. I never went to school for this. I never I don't have a degree in this stuff. Uh, I never work in finance. I never work in a cubicle. The first time I wear a suit in a long time when I went to the Rex Share event in New York, and uh, so it's crazy. So it's not, it. <clears throat> so I never count money to okay. think about that as a business. So yeah, so I have zero experience in this world. But what I do is I have dialogue and conversation with uh, the members in my Discord, the Command Nations, and I just ask them questions. You know, I just, you know, the discovery, the learning, and these questions back and forth is what make this uh, YouTube uh, channel and this community is one of the fastest growing community. Matter of fact, I can almost say that we're, we're starting to be the only community talking about high yield dividends. Now there's people out there talking about high yield dividends, but I'm getting to a point that I think they're just pretending. <laughs> they're, just, they're just pretending. Because they, 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 they're kind of wishy-washy. They One day they, they like TSLY, and next day they don't like it. Uh, one day they like IWMY, and next day they don't like it. It's kind of crazy. Like, why, why are you like all over the place? Uh, but no, we we uh, we have conviction on high yield dividends, and uh, we've been going after high yield dividends ever since from the beginning. You know, so from the from the get go. So uh, and uh, and we're still at it, and we're we're a lot of us are making good good money because you know we're talking about almost more than a year now for some of us, and uh, so and eventually when you go to the second year, guess what? Anything after year two, it's all free money. After 20 months, you're gonna get all your money back because these guys paying anything. If you if you getting paid more than 50% yields, after two years, you pretty much gonna get all your money back. Okay. Right? Uh, it's crazy. It's crazy. So imagine imagine this conversation in January of 2025. I'm gonna be like, what are you talking about? Like everything is gonna be like, what are you talking about? We've been making money the whole time. All right. I'm gonna show you some data and stuff that, so this way you can understand. Before that, let me switch, some, switch, switch on some music, and uh, <coughs> and I'll go through my portfolio review, and uh, yeah, I'm definitely allergic to something because I'm just like coughing. Uh, I, <laughs> I want to reach out, talk to my sister, like, what are you cooking? <laughs> like, what are you cooking? Um, So I'm gonna switch music here, guys. <coughs> how's everyone doing? How's how's the world of Discord? Mm. 
Life is good. The, it, it, your portfolio went up too? I mean, if my portfolio went up, I, I'm a, my assumption is majority of you went up too. Uh, because majority of you have the same similar fund that I have. So, all right, let me read the uh, information real quick on YouTube and say hello. Andrew Marshall, hello. Um, Cardona, uh, was it cool to be in Wall Street and ringing the bell? <laughs> yeah, oh my God, it's unbelievable, Cardona. Um, uh, yeah, it, I, I want to thank you, Rex Shares. I want to thank you, to, you know, uh, first of all, Rex Shares came with a lot of supporting establishment. <coughs> there was a Bank of Montreal guy. There was a guy who invented the dollar sign for Twit. I can't remember the name of the company. There was a, uh, there was a whole bunch of company. It was a couple of TikToker. Um, I was the only YouTuber because retired dividend could make it. Otherwise, there would be two of us. There was a couple of guys from the uh, Twitter, Twitter blogger. So there's a whole bunch of people there, and I'm really, really happy to meet a lot of those people. Uh, I'm, I'm, my favorite people of all there was the t-shirt uh, lady, worked for Rexshare. Uh, she is awesome, so friendly, so friendly. Uh, I'm definitely gonna buy her a coffee. Uh, she's, she's, she's in Miami, so I'm gonna stop by and buy her some coffee. If she hear this, I'm gonna let you know, that, hey, I'm, I'm gonna stop by, buy you some coffee. And, uh, <clears throat> Yeah, so I'm, I am really, really enjoy it. Uh, uh, thank you so much for being part of it. And the first time I shook, to think about it, I've been, I've been alive 40 years. I never met anybody work in finance. I never met a stockbroker or day trader. I only see these guys on TV. I only see movies like Wall Street, but I have no idea how it works because I'm in the military. And uh, it's strange. It's like it's like you guys telling me like I never met a doctor. You know, like that's kind of strange from my perspective because I I see doctors like all the time. Military guy live with doctors. They're like you see doctor all the time. And uh, <clears throat> and so when I tell people like man, the first time I met somebody who worked in finance was was uh, Scott and Rex shares. I was like that's crazy. That's just crazy how how the world <coughs> how far apart we are in the world. You know. And, uh, you know, because I spent my whole life in the military and these guys spend their whole life in finance and there's no relation uh, together, you know. <coughs> <coughs>
tax is a very individual thing. But yeah, we talk about tax. A lot of people think we don't talk about tax. We talk about tax all the time. Uh, so, but the bottom line is just pay your tax. If you if you have to pay a lot of money in taxes, that means you're doing really well. You're getting rich, okay? Right? Uh, so continue on. Uh, Robert said he got the Feppy T-shirt. He he sent me one. That's awesome, Robert. Congratulations, congratulations. Woo -hoo. I'm so proud. And uh, to the T-shirt lady from Rexia, you did your job. I'm so, I was there. I you know when she scrolled down her an Excel spreadsheet, looking make sure everybody got it. So I was there. I was there. I was talking to her. So. By the way, I am Big Bob. Talk to you one time. Uh, I'm now doing my side gig so I can add to my portfolio every day. Big Rob? I talk to you? Uh, Big Rob, like in, in person in New York? Or I met a lot of people in New York. I apologize. What, are you Big Rob in New York? Oh, I, I gotta wait for his answer. This is this, this is awesome. I apologize, Big Rob. Uh, get some water. <laughs> Condona said I get some water. Yeah, that'd be interesting, Robert. If I met you in in New York, that'd be awesome. Um, it was fun. It was so much fun. My hotel was so. What well, it was? Have any anybody see the live video when I did the hotel review? Five hundred dollars for a little tiny apartment, a little tiny one bedroom hotel that was $500 it was but however I didn't have to walk far literally I walk one down one block down and I'm in Times Square and then I'm just only a block away from from the Nasdaq uh, office and also the one block away from the drinking establishment I did I never left Times Square when I was in New York the whole time I was in New York never left Times Square so it was pretty interesting except when I went to see my mom and then um and then uh, we went to see, we, we, we just explored New York and went to different places. So I, I had a great time. All right. He, he hot and spicy food. He, he probably hot and spicy food. I, I have no idea what he's talking about. All right. Uh, yeah, this is awesome. Okay, so let's, let's talk about my portfolio. We're going to do a quick portfolio review. And then, um, and then after that, we're going to switch over and talk about the member portfolio review. Uh, did you end up going to New York City event? I did, Orion. I did. You didn't see all the picture? Holy cow. He didn't see any of the picture. Yeah, I did. I, I had a great time. Did you see... Did you see Akira? I don't know what that is. <clears throat> okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So this is my portfolio. So if you're kind of new, let me move my, uh, my, my, my face out of the way. I'm gonna put myself here. Uh, let me rotate myself around. It's so good to. All right. Not in New York online on Discord. Okay, on Discord. Okay. Uh, Big Rob. Hey, it's good to see you, brother. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is my portfolio review. Uh, and then after this, we're gonna talk about the member portfolio review. I haven't looked at any members yet, but we're gonna go and switch over. For those who's in Discord, or for those in YouTube, if you want us to review your portfolio, go ahead and do a screenshot. Make sure you take your name out and make sure you take your account number out uh, or you know delete it or you know edit out or cut it out. Uh, or don't screenshot that, that particular page. And then upload it to YouTube uh, in the portfolio section. I'll pull it from there. And then uh, well, we can talk about it. Uh, this is this helped us a lot. It helped members a lot. And we have a lot of new members. This YouTube channel focus on new members. All right. And um, all right. So <clears throat> I started I start my investment journey January 2023. So January 2023 is when I open a ch the Charles Schwab account. And I put about thousand dollar in. I average about a thousand, a thousand five hundred uh, of my contribution every month since uh, from January all the way till January 2024. I no longer contribute into it. All right. And um, in January, when, when I first opened the account, let me just show you. Let me just show you from this perspective. Let me go here. Hey, come here. Can you share your screen? Oh yes, sir. Thank you. I apologize. All right. Proud to found your channel. Hey, Joe Lee. Hey, what's going on? Uh, do we know each other, Joe? If so, that'd be awesome. We met in New York. Uh, and uh, thank you. All right, so let's start with 2023. So 
when I first started my journey, um, I made no dividends. I made seven cents of dividend. Why? Because I own I own Coca Cola, I own SHD that pay quarterly dividends. So my goal in gen when I opened a Charles Schwab account, um, I have no idea what I was doing. I don't even know what an ETF is. I have no idea. I I just know what a stock is. I know what dividends is. Um, I just know that I want to generate dividends to generate income. So like I have a basic idea what I want to do, but I didn't understand it and uh, enough of it. So and I was looking mainly in stock at the time. So, but then now the reason why I got SHD is because I own, I own Charles Schwab and Charles Schwab has this introductory package and they're like, hey, buy this. So that's my introduction to ETF. I kind of like, okay, what is this ETF? So I started studying SHD a little bit. I like SHD and I still like it. Uh, it's to me, it's one of the best fun uh, in the ETF world because they generate dividend growth. We're going after dividend income, which is two different strategy, okay? And uh, so I was looking at it, I fell in love, and but then the time I'm looking for high yield dividends. Like what's out there at the high yield dividend? And back in January, I'll, I'll name you some companies, see if you recognize. These are high yield dividends out there. I'm a residential, all right? There was, um, there was a uh, uh, San Juan Bison, uh, and then there was Zim, Zim, uh, Zim uh, Shipping Company. Line, I, what is it, Zim? I forgot the name of the shipping company. Zim? These guys were paying. Yes, yeah, yeah, Zim. was it Zim? Yeah, Zim was paying dividends. Yeah, they were paying dividends. So all these guys were paying high yield dividends. You know, these like, so I was looking at those guys. Um, you know, they were paying essentially almost 20%. I was like, wow, this is interesting, but they're kind of like, they kind of like high risk a little bit for me. Like I was like, you know, I understand shipping very well. And I was like, why is ship, why is Sim is paying like a lot of money? That's crazy. Okay. What is going on? Like, you know, so I start questioning these things, you know, but I wasn't looking at ETF because I didn't, I didn't understand how ETF work. I have no concept, no nothing at all. So I was just mo mostly invest in, uh, in stocks, so I made seven cents. In February, uh, I made 28 cents. I was like, okay, I guess I'm doing really well. And in March, I made $4, like, woohoo. But in April, I made $35. This is when it started breaking in. Okay, so what happened, what happened uh, between March and April? Well, what happened was this. There was this fund called Tesla, T-S-L-Y. So I, this is how I found about Tesla. I uh, I was searching one day using stockanalysis.com. I'm, I'm I'm not sponsored for them. I'm not advertising for them, but I like them because they're simple. Why is it not moving right now? Okay. Hello. All right. Let me go back to the beginning. Wow, the drop down menu did not drop down. That was weird. All right. All right. So let me expand out a little bit more. Wow, that's strange. All right, here we go. All right, can you guys still see? Okay, yep, okay. So what happened is I was searching, I was just doing stock search. That's all I was doing, stock search. And I was searching by, you know, stock screener. I was searching mainly by dividends, you know, like that's all I was doing. Dividends, stock screener, and I'm just looking for, wow, everything is so, so slow right now. My sister, internet is so, what the heck? I need, I need I'm, I'm buying a Tesla. I need to buy her an internet too. I need to pay her internet too. <laughs> it's crazy. But essentially, I just click on it and it's not moving right now. I don't know why. But and then and then it's uh and then it's screen now and it's like, oh, here's all the top dividends. Here's all the, you know, but it's all stock. But then I saw this thing called ETF. I'm like, oh, what's ETF? That's is that SCHD? So I click on it. I was like, oh, I didn't know what an ETF was. I have no idea. Like, but I figured out pretty quickly, you know, Google, you know, like, so ETF is essentially exchange traded fund. It's a collection of stock, a fund manager manage all these stocks. So I'll give you a click. I'll give you an example. I click on, um, let's say, I don't know what this fund is and they have a holding, right? And you just click on the holding. Here's all the things they hold. There's a collection of all these stocks out there. So there's an ETF for shipping. There's an ETF for uh, for environmental, there's an ETF for cannabis, if you want to smoke pot all the time. There's an ETF for sin stock, there's an ETF, you know, so then I start Googling these other products and stuff like that. But one thing, I, when I was doing the screener, 
they have this thing called dividends also. And uh, so I just click on the dividends. And then I don't know why, like nothing is moving right now. All right. I apologize, guys. Just not moving as the way I want it. So I click on dividends. All of a sudden it pop up. I say click on, you know, high yield, low yield, you know, just sorting out by. And then there was this fund that popped out, like TSLY. I was like, what the heck is TSLY? I have no idea. And literally this is what I saw. Yield backs TSLA option income strategy ETF TSLY. TSLY was born in November, or well, inception was October 22nd. Um, so October 22nd, and we're looking somewhere around by this time. When I saw this is somewhere around January or February, right? And I, I bought it into it somewhere around March or April. I can't remember when I bought it, right? But uh, somewhere around January. So somewhere around January, I saw this. I'm like, what the heck is Yield Max Tesla? So I know TSLA is Tesla. I was like, okay, great, because I like Tesla. I want to own Tesla. But why this thing was, during the time, it was like $14. Like, why this thing was like $14? And it's Tesla. What is it? And then what the heck is option income strategy? What does that mean? So I have no idea what it means. And then I click on the dividends, and then and this is what I saw. In January, I saw $1. Well, back then it was $1, so now it's $2. But I saw $1. I was like, what the heck? What fun, what what assets out there is generating a dollar's worth of dividends? It's just unbelievable. It's unbelievable. There's, there's no way. There's got to be... This got to be some kind of uh, a drugs dealing. This got to be a scam. It got to be. It can't. It, it can't be, because up to this point, think about in the world of invest. Up to this point, since we walk out of the cave, since men walk out of the cave, there's only three way to get rich. All right, either you doing you doing uh, prostitution work, you doing uh, mercenary work, or you selling drugs. Like you're talking about Al Capone number. This is like this is like going back to Chicago and you say Al Capone. I'm gonna let you borrow twenty thousand dollar, and you're gonna give me back twenty percent return of my money, or thirty percent of my, which still, which still, which which is still a lot. And um, and and Al Capone will give you your money back, or he breaks somebody's legs. And you know that's it was like unbelievable number. So I I just couldn't believe it. But the thing was I didn't know what option trading is. And so when I click on the option trading, I was like, what the heck is option trading? What so when I click on it and uh, the overview, and so I read this thing, Yield Max Tesla Option Income Strategy ETF, uh, known as TSLY, is an exchange traded fund. Okay, I got that part. That mostly invests in consumer discretionary equity. I was like, okay, I have no idea what all that means. The fund seeks to provide current income and cap gains on Tesla stocks. I'm like, what? What does that mean? Okay, right. through a synthetic cover call. The, the synthetic cover call got me even more lost. I was like so confused, so confused. But I was willing to test it. Why? Because I start with nothing. I start with zero. I put a thousand dollar in. I was like, you know what? What's the worst I'm gonna lose? I'm not gonna lose any money. I mean, uh, I what? I lose two thousand dollar, three thousand dollar. My investment, not a big deal. Not a big deal. I start with nothing anyway. So I'm gonna go buy some Tesla. I'm gonna go buy some Tesla. I'm gonna make it work. And uh, of course, by the time I bought Tesla, it was like eighteen dollars. <laughs> when, when the time was fourteen dollars, by the time I bought it, it was like eighteen dollars. So I bought I bought some Tesla, and that's what happened to my portfolio. So somewhere around there, I made I made thirty dollars in April. I bought somewhere around March here, and I made thirty dollars. That's from like my first Tesla, and in May I made twenty three. I'm not sure what happened there. Um, that's a combination of my portfolio. Uh, and then I just keep start throwing money into Tesla, $92. What happened in in uh, in July, I, I remember the exact date, 4th of July, all right? So I made $92 at this point, but July, on, so on 4th of July, I was in London. Uh, my, my, my wife and I, we were traveling. Uh, you know, we were just enjoying the, you know, the food, eat Indian foods and, you know, looking for Louis Vuitton bags. She loves shopping, you know, uh, you know, high end stuff and just, you know, just, just enjoying London's. And I remember I was, you know, so it's a different time zone. I remember I was sitting in a, in a hotel driving. I was ready to take off and Charles Schwab texted me, uh, you know, the dividends payout for, for Yield Max. And I made a hundred dollars. At that moment, 
is when I realized like I'm this this is the real deal. Tesla is the real deal, or Yield Max is the real deal. I I didn't even understand it. I I I, I like I went in. I was just like, this is no joke. Like up to this point, up to this point, Tesla essentially paid me one dollar, one dollar, you know, eighty cents, ninety cents, whatever, you know, one dollar, ninety nine cents, nine cents, eighty cents. It's I wish I wish they go back to the old number because it's much easier. And then of course July. July was the most payment. They gave they gave a dollar, so it's like more than a dollar. So it's two dollars on here. All right, it was the most payment at that moment when I knew, I knew that my world have changed. All right, like that's gonna be, that's gonna be that. I I found I found what I'm looking for, and I thought I was I thought I was, you know, like one of the millions of people like, like, and I didn't realize how rare I am. Like, like nobody was really into it except me. Like, you know, except a few people. And uh, so I started making YouTube video. I started making a video called "All In on Tesla." You know, like I'm just gonna put all my money in it. So my money went literally went from like I'm a residential Zim shipman, you know, realty income, all these other companies out there, and to just nothing but Tesla. <laughs> just like 98% Tesla. I just went in all in on Tesla, and I still don't know what it is. But somewhere around July and August, when I came back, that's when I met Kenny, and Kenny introduced me to option trading. He was like, "Dude, you're making good video. You know, you you don't know what you're doing. You're just investing, investing, but you don't know why you're investing in Tesla." I'm like, "Okay, these guys doing synthetic synthetic cover call. Let me explain you how synthetic cover call work. Let me explain you how option call works." And once Kenny explained me how option call works, I fell in love with Yield Max even more. And I knew right away that not only that I'm buying something that is that that it's groundbreaking in the world of investment, that I am buying something that is profoundly changing the world. I mean, changing the way we look at things. This is this is crazy. Like I'm at I'm right at the forefront of this thing, and and I didn't even realize it because prior to Tesla, the highest yields out there was JEPI. Essentially, that's it. JP JPEI. QYLD, XYLD, all the global X guy, Jeb Q, that's it, and that's that's all you're getting is these guys, okay? And you're essentially getting, so before January 2003, you're getting 41 cents, 44 cents, 57 cents, 61 cents, and there's tons of video, tons of video on Jeppy, the greatest investment in the world. 61 cents, 60 cents, 48 cents, 55 cents, 62 cents. There's tons of videos that JEPI is better than SEHD, tons. But that was it. That was that was the high yield dividend. That was the high yield back then. But Tesla is paying like 70, 80, almost 100% uh, you know, yield. 90% yield, 80% yield, 70% yield, and they were paying a dollar. It's crazy. Not only there was Tesla, there was Clip. So in January there was Clip also. I was like, "Okay, I'm, you know, so I'm going to go all in." So I bought Tesla, I bought Clip, I bought OLK. Those are my three. I bought all the three. I bought all the three high yield dividends during the time, and I was like, "I'm all in." Bam! I'm going in. And uh, and once I understand how option trading works, yield max become very easy for me. And I think the the advantage was that I came in naive. I I didn't know what yield max is. I didn't know what Tesla is. I didn't know what high yield dividend is. I didn't know what dividend. I mean, I understand dividends, but I I, I didn't understand it. I didn't understand option trade. I didn't understand any of this stuff because I was new. So when you're new, you you, you just you just you you don't you're not you know uh, what do you call it? your brain is not polluted by old thinking or you you're kind of stuck in the, the old method. Like for example, there's people right now adamantly would would defend to the tooth that VU QQQ whatever it is is the way to invest. And I was like, dude, dude, just stop. I'm in the military. I have a retirement plan. You, what do you think my retirement plan is? Q, 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 VU, V, O, O, <laughs> SPY, State Street. That's my. That's the military retirement plan. The military retirement plan is the index. 
IVV, IVM, all those guys. Yeah, they give you a choice, A, B, C, and D. You know what I mean? I'm like, I'm like, what? So I don't want to replicate the retirement plan I already have that I'm gonna put money in. I'm trying to get rich. I'm trying to get rich in a short time. You know, I want to make money now. So when I stop working, all right. So so why did I pursue this journey? A lot of people ask me, you know, like why did I pursue this journey? Because you know, prior to this, I was gonna retire. I was gonna stop working. I was gonna stop working. I told I told the military like, hey, peace out. I'm done. You know, I'm not gonna work anymore. And then life happens. Life happens. And then you, your plan to leave, uh, it's just not there. You're like, oh my God, I'm not in a financial situation to leave right now. And that's why I'm still working. But I don't wanna work forever. So I'm saying, I'm gonna put, give myself three years. So I created a three year plan, a three year plan. The first year, I'm gonna accumulate as much shares as I can. The second year, I'm gonna diversify my uh, goal, and then my third year, then I will, I will uh, uh, try to maximize it. You know, trying to maximize it. So you know, those are some basic plan I came up with. I was like, okay, three-year plan. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get as much money as I can income uh, in a three-year plan. So, and and that's when I'm my driving force. I was going there, and then after that, I'm gonna punch out in twenty. So, the first year is I'm trying to accumulate as many shares as I can because I'm trying to generate income, okay? So how much income? I'm trying to replace my current income. My current income was $10,000 is, is $10, a month. That's how much a major make in the military. For those who don't know how much a major make in the military, is about $10,000 a month, right? And uh, now some make more, some make less, you know, but but it's, it's all to do with cost of living, all to do with uh, BH, housing, and all that stuff, you know? It's, it, it's to do with all that. It, it, your duty station matter, put it that way, right? So I get about $10,000 a month. And uh, so I gotta figure out how to replace $10,000 a month. Because at $10,000 a month, I can pretty much do anything I want. I'm pretty, pretty satisfied, pretty happy. So I gotta replace that. So I was like, okay, how do I replace $10,000 in three years? That's the answer, that's the question. That is the question that I went into. How do you replace $10,000 in three years? You're not gonna do that with VU. You're not gonna do that with QQQ. You're not gonna do that with low yield dividends. You're not gonna do that, you know, just, you just not. So you gotta go after the highest yield dividends possible, what, whatever's out there. And what's out there, man, I came at the right time. Yield Max and I came at the right time. I fell in love. And during the time, there was only three funds, Clip, OLK, and Yield Max. So in July, I got clipped. I got, you know, not a lot, but because 98% of my portfolio is Tesla. 98% of my portfolio is Tesla. And then I own some clip. I own some, you know, uh, uh, OLK. Then I went from 500, I made 1,400. Remember, I put 1,000 to 1,500 in it. Once I make 1,400, I can literally stop contributing. But like, you know what? I'm going to keep doing it because I want to get more because my goal is to get to 3,000 by the end of the year. But what, what happened was, somewhere around July and August, something profoundly happened to Tesla that changed my portfolio. It changed my portfolio. And during the time, the command nation, the people who was following me, they were like, there was people coming in, they were like, love Tesla, love Tesla, everything was great. And somewhere between August and summer, we start seeing crack in Tesla. Because what happened during that time? Well, Tesla price came down, and it came down hard. It didn't just come down; it came down hard. What is going on with this internet? Is it? It's just this website. I just click on it, and it didn't happen. So let's let's go to Yahoo. I think it's just that website. That website is crashing. All right. Yeah, it's just that website. I was about, I'm about to yell across like, sis, you need a new internet, all right. So what happened is I'm at the peak. Everybody was like, this is great. Let's go all in Tesla. They love my video. They all came into the community. I made a lot of new friends. I met a lot of cool people. I met a lot of people, okay? Right? And as soon as the price started coming down, man, a lot of people started ditching me too. And <laughs> and then I met made a lot of enemy too. So I'm not sure why, what happened? A lot of people hate me. And um, so the price came down hard. 
right after July and August, we started to see a crack that came down. And it was, it was at this moment is when I realized, you know, sometimes at this moment when you realize you F up, no, at this moment is when I realize I'm going to get rich. Like, it's like the opposite. Think about this, guys. I want, this is, this is, this is the game changer. This is the game changer. I want you to think about this. I'm an immigrant from Cambodia. I was born in the jungle of Cambodia. My family came here to the United States. We came here poor. All right? And I joined the military at 18. And so as, as a, you know, as a 40-year-old guy, I'm making pretty good money. You know, now, now I'm making pretty good money. All right? But that's a lot of hard work. Not, not a lot of Cambodian came in very successful. They struggle. Uh, they, they live in Section 8 housing. They're on welfare. Some of them in and out of prison, in and out of gangs, uh, you know, all kind of problem. We don't have a lot of positive role model. We don't have a lot of positive role model. When, when Tesla price went down to this all-time low right here on August 814, Everybody's ditching Tesla. I see a couple of YouTuber calling man Tesla is the worst thing of a scam or whatever. You know, everything is just bad. But for me, I look at the opposite. I look at the opposite. All my friends and cousin, they're working as a dishwasher, construction. My dad, he put he he he's a roofer. He built roofs. He work he do general construction, he built whatever hard-working people. I got cousin working, you know, fishery. A lot of them have, don't have retirement plan. A lot of them don't have 401k plan. And I start talking about this. I start talking about a little bit because I just saw something. Think, I want you guys to think about it. If you don't understand what I'm talking about here, then, then, then it, it, you and I, we're just not going to get along. We're just not going to get along. And if you don't understand it, that's fine. Just listen to what I'm saying. And, and just just listen. When Tesla price dropped from its all time to its lowest point during the time, during the time in August was one of the lowest point. I, other people ditch Tesla, they, they bail out. I, I saw an opportunity for me to get rich. It was like the opposite of what other people were doing. I was like, holy cow. Holy cow! This this can't this, this cannot be. Like this cannot be. I'm like, Jay, Pesciscrelli, created one of the most beautiful fun, ever, ever in the history of the entire stock exchange, in the history of stock exchange. Now somebody would say you know Berkshire Class C would be the best one you know like or you know Microsoft Google whatever. You know, but hey, I wasn't there. I wasn't there when Coca-Cola was there. I wasn't there when the T Ford model. I'm talking about now. I'm talking about investment. My investment now. It, it, too late. I can't buy a hundred thousand uh, dollar Berkshire stock. I can't buy. It's too late for me to buy Bitcoin at sixty thousand dollar. You know, it's, I didn't. I didn't do it back then. So, but I'm. I'm doing it right now. And I saw this. I was going like, oh my god. Jay painted Mona Lisa and I saw Mona Lisa and everybody else saw it's garbage. They're like, who who paint this ugly, ugly, ugly girls on this painting? Who paint this Tesla on this paint painting? I saw a beautiful, beautiful girl. It is one of the most beautiful fun ever created. I understood it like right away and I fell in love with it right away. And I said, we're going to get rich. We're going to get really, really, we're going to get rich in a short time. I'm not just going to make 10,000 in three years. I'm going to make 10,000 even shorter, shorter time. This is crazy because it's unbelievable. Okay, so why do I think that way? That's the difference. If you can't understand that, why I'm thinking this way and you think different, you're thinking I'm just losing my money. Up to this point, I, I'm not I'm lost any of my money yet. I'm putting, I'm putting my money in. I haven't lost any money yet. So what happened is, as the price came down, I was able to buy more for the same dollar amount that I put in. I was able to buy a lot more, double, triple more. And it, and it, and it just keep coming down. October, 
November and it just keep coming down. I was like, oh my God. It's like every time it came down, I was like, I'm just drooling. I'm just seeing ching 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 money everywhere. I'm like, it's like I'm winning the casino. It's like everybody else is bailing out. Not only they bail out, they hate me. They they go to other YouTube channel, they go to other Discord, they're like, oh my god, that guy's uh, that guy's re retarded. That guy's that guy's crazy. That guy's all it's like like like, like there's a cult over there. All he talk about is Tesla. He, that's all he talk about. I saw it and I fell in love with it and it was beautiful. Like there was Mona Lisa right there and it was a like when Jay go on an interview, I don't know why D Jay does that. He go around interviewing all these people that doesn't like him. He should go interview people that actually like him. And uh, it's crazy. And uh, and then and he and he he knows he paint a, a Mona Lisa. He knows that this is one of the best thing ever happened to the mass media, the mass market, to the to to the retail investor. He knows that. Sylvia know that. The people in Rexiers know that. The people in Chepi know that. The people who's investing in the community knows that. For whatever reason, the retail investor did not know that. So, so, so he's like, he's like, this this painting is so beautiful. Tesla was so beautiful. Oh, let's go back to my child swap account. So as as the fun, as the stock came came down, as the price came down, what do you think happened to my portfolio? Look at my portfolio. It went from 1,400 to 1,800 to 2,000. Like every month, I was throwing, I was like 2,700. And by the time I hit December, I was $3,000 a month. Because the value of the price came down. And I, I don't even know why. I don't even care. Like a lot of people are like analyzing, like, holy cow. It was like, look at the nav erosion, the capital erosion. You buying into a scam, you buying into a fund that's gonna fail you. Tesla is the worst thing ever. Like nav erosion, like what the hell you you know, dude, I don't I don't speak your language. I don't know what it is. But all I know is one thing. I only ask one question. Does Tesla still pay me 50% yield? Does Tesla pay me 50% yield? Look at this number. Look at this number. And by the end of this thing, it's fourteen dollars. It's fourteen dollar total. Can somebody do the math? Uh, let me just. How much total right now? If I, if I just combine all this together from from the creation, I'm. I hope this. I hope they say fourteen. If somebody can do the math for me. Fourteen dollars. For a seven dollar stocks. For an eight dollar stocks. For nine dollar stocks, and people people bail out, and and I I threw more money in. I was like, oh my god, I just fell. I I figured I figured out because Tesla was still paying fifty percent yield. If Tesla was paying like ten cents, like CLM, yeah, I can understand that. Totally understand that. But it wasn't doing that. It wasn't doing that. It was giving you fifty percent yield every single time. It still does. It hasn't dropped that. It has not. It has met its obligation every single time. And so that's the summer 2023. In January, I made four thousand going to five thousand. And you can, you can, like, for those who like don't believe, I don't know what you're talking about. That's fake. No, that's my child swap account. You, and you can go look at the YouTube video at any given time, and you can see it. It's, it just follow it. In February, I got five thousand. In March, I got six thousand. In April, guess what? I'm gonna get seven thousand. I still, I still have money that need to be paid for me. The core fund, the core fund of my portfolio is Tesla. Tesla generate me two thousand to three thousand a month, and the rest is made up of all the portfolio. Because what happened in January? This is what happened in January. Once I reach five thousand dollars, like you know what? I don't need to contribute anymore. So number one, I turn off my contribution. I'm just spending the dividends money. Number two, I'm getting five thousand dollars a month thrown back in instead of you know instead of small amount. And then now I can diversify. I can buy some other funds, grow more. And guess what happened? Yield max during this time. Guess what is introduced? Connie, MSTR, 
uh, I, you know, in the QQY, IWMY, there's so many more funds for me to make a dollar, two, you know, two dollars. So I end up making a lot more money, a lot, a lot more money. So now I'm making, you know, I'm on pace. 7,000. So this is April going to May. Uh, so in April, in April, I make 7,300. So May, it's going to be 7,600 or so. And in June, it's going to be 8,000. So remember, every three months, April, May, June, in June, you, in June, you're going to July, you're going to see an 8,000 portfolio. So July, August, September, guess what? The September, October, that's going to be a $9,000 portfolio. Every month, $9,000 for the rest of my life. And some of you are not the rest of your life. Yeah. Because most of the underlining stocks out there are Tesla, Microsoft, Apple, Google, or Bitcoin. Are they going to collapse anytime overnight? No, they're not. They're going to live a long time. They're going to live longer than my life. I can tell you that. And then, so October, November, December, guess what? 10000 There's my $10,000. I was like, holy cow. I found, I found the holy grail. I found it. And um, of course, you know, even though I, I make YouTube video talk about, oh my God, people, the anti Tesla, the anti yield max, the anti high yield dividend people just keep attacking me over and over again. Like crazy. All right, so what happened is I got 3,000, no, at one point I got 7,500 shares of Tesla. So then, then they reverse split. Guess what? Reverse split, nothing happened. Oh my God. The reverse split split my community. For whatever reason, my community was fast growing. It was fast. It was like, and I don't even ask for a subscriber. I, I tell people not to subscribe. And I ban people. I ban people like Kool-Aid. I ban people all the time. Like I just, you know, it's like one of my favorite things to do. Ban, 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 ban. All right. And, um, and I don't even ask for a subscriber. I don't do it for clickbait. And I, you know, and yet I still have a lot of people. But when the reverse split happened, my community just split. They went all in some separate way. They all went away. That's great. That's okay. The people that stay here because they understood it. They understood exactly the way I understood it. All right. They were the real deal. They're the real, real deal. All right. And so, so three, now we have 3,720. And guess what? This thing here generate me my income, generate me part of my income. And of course, a lot of people always say, well, you're down 29,000. Yeah, because Tesla went down this whole time and I bought it from the very beginning. So, oh man, this thing's still down. See, here's Tesla. It went down this whole time. All right. Remember I told you, what, because it go down, you get more shares. And I keep getting more share, and that's how I keep getting richer. All right? I'm not selling my Tesla. Okay, in two years, all that we win. But it but doesn't matter. Because if you do the math, if you do the math, all right, where's my, child, my, uh, my income? If you go back to my income investment, I'm making 7000 a month, okay? I'm down 29,000 or 20 something thousand just on Tesla or 20,000, whatever it was. I'm making 7,000 a month. In three months, it's 21,000. You know? Yeah. It's, it's crazy. In four months, it's 28,000. But if you add, if you add my 2023 income, which is all Tesla, in 2023 income is mostly Tesla because 98% Tesla. That's twelve thousand dollar to whatever money I have right now. Yeah, but I'm always gonna make that money. When I reach ten thousand dollar, I'm gonna make ten thousand dollar. I'm gonna continue to make ten thousand dollar and more. And I'm gonna keep making it. I'm gonna keep compounding as long as I throw the money back in. That's the big difference of it. So. So here's Tesla, and uh, you know, so I got 3,700 share, and continue to grow, continue, continue to get bigger. But the big difference now is this: I didn't need to buy more Tesla because I reached my goal. I reached my goal to get $3,000 per month, and so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna take my money and put on Clip. So I got Clip. I got a thousand dollar month from Clip, and I'm gonna, I'm, I, I made my money, so I'm gonna buy some QQY. Guess what? I'm almost at $1,000 a month from QQY. 
and I'm growing IWMY, 500 share. I'm going to grow Connie at 500 share. And Connie gave me more than 1000 a month because of $2 of fun. I'm just going to keep buying. Like, look, I'm buying 100 share, 100 share. I'm going to buy all of them. Eventually, I'm going to own all the high-yield dividends. Every high-yield dividend. I own pretty much all of them. Almost all of them. Let's sort of buy. I own BlackRock Bali. I own Defiance. I own Goldman Sachs. I own iShares. I own Crane Share. I own Curve. All the Curve. I own all the most of the NEOs. I own ProShare. I own Poppy. IQQ. The only thing I didn't own is QQI, which I need to own. iSpy. Feppy. FEPI. And I'm growing them. So eventually, what's going to happen? You see, you know, slowly, when they start off as a one, I open the position with one. Then I get two. Then I get three. Then I get four. Next thing you know, I got 10. I got 40. I got 16. You know, because that's how I buy them. Like, for example, NVD on the next X date, I'm buying 16. That's going to be 32. The following X date, I'm buying 32. That's going to go to 64. And it's just going to keep growing it. Because why? I'm having seven, dollars $8,000 a month. Yeah. And 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 that's... Oh, some, I just saw I just saw Joe Lee ask, why do I own one share? I own one share to open the position to start... To start to start my journey that's that's how i do it all my fun i open one share and so after i own own one share that's just a hey, tomato tomato it's just my uh yeah it's an SHSU. it's much easier to track because i can see the whole thing one i can see the whole thing two it's just how i want to buy into these position uh it's how i dca so i start with one like tltw price came down i buy i bought one more share now it's two if price came down again, another dollar, another dollar. Let's say it dropped to 24. Uh, let's let's say it dropped to 24.28. Guess what? I'm gonna buy four share now, not two, but four. All right. If it drop another dollar to 23.28, guess what? I'm gonna buy. Uh, uh, what well, I have four, eight now, eight. Oh, just double the number. Whatever the number, I just double it. Eventually. Eventually, I'm going to get close to 100, and I got 100 share. Like, ideally, this is how I want to play it. This is why I don't want to answer, because I, I get sidetracked pretty quickly. Ideally, you, I want to play like how I play Connie. Where's Connie? Here's Connie. I have 500 shares. My cost average is $21. Obviously, I'm netting $2,000. That's how you want to, that's how you want, that's why you want to DCA it this way. Okay, I hope I answered that question. Yeah, so... I went all in on Tesla. It's the re because I went all in. That's why I made so much money, so much income. Now, yeah. Here's the beauty now. No. Uh, Eric, uh, you, uh, you. <laughs> we can hear your your girl talking. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, but <laughs> I wanted to just say it's nothing wrong with going all in on Tesla because. If it does a parabolic like Missy did, that would have been, you know, such an awesome thing. But the underlying Tesla, you know, everybody's, you know, favorite hated company um, went down. So it, it was not I think it was nothing wrong with going all in because I did the same thing. But, you know, it turned out, you know, what it was. But if we did all in on Misty, trust me, we'd be singing a whole totally different tune. Yeah, because when we started, remember, I only had three funds. I had Tesla, OOK, and Clip. That was it. I, I, I don't know why I went on in Tesla, but it, it, it works. But uh, I could have go on and on Clip, you know, but I I chose Tesla because of Tesla. And Clip, I didn't yeah. like, you know, K-Web. I'm like, ooh, I don't know. You know, it was kind of weird. Yeah. But it, mm -hmm. it, mainly because of Tesla. I love Tesla, and I pretty much have Tesla everything. Tesla hat, Tesla shirt. And so I, uh, so I just went in all in on Tesla. But... Yeah. The, the, the advantage that you all have now in in April 2024 is that you don't have to go all in on Tesla like I did. You don't have to go all in on anything. You have choices. You have a lot of choices now. So you just pick and choose which one you want. You only Literally, they're all doing really well. You pick and choose your own one. You want high yield. You want ultra high yield. You want super, super ultra quadruple double dog day yield. You know, like MSTR paying like four dollars, then go for it. You know, it's up to you. Or you want to get something Eddie steady like Feppy FEPR, but pay you good yield at twenty five percent. Yeah, get Feppy. There's a lot of choice now. You can go buy YBTC, give you four dollars. There's so many choices now. 
Or you can buy Disso. Disso, I don't like Disney, but Disso, you know, give you good 60 to 80%, you know, any study. There's there's a lot of there's a lot of choices now. You don't have to go in, you don't have to go in all in on any fund. You don't have to buy Tesla at all. As a matter of fact, you don't even have to touch Tesla. Uh what do you Eric, what do you think of that? Yeah, I agree. I mean, you don't have to touch Tesla. You got tons of options now. Yeah. Even the round table or round hill. Yeah. You got tons of options available to you. You got so many options, so many choices now. Um, you know, like you don't have to play just Tesla alone. All right. Yeah. So this is anyway, I kind of get you up to speed and talking about, you know, the journey, how it got here. Uh, I'm going to go and look at YouTube real quick. And then after that, uh, the, 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 the chat, and then after that, we're going to go to the portfolio member portfolios. So for those who have not submit their, their portfolio, go ahead and submit it and we're going to discuss it. And then we're going to talk about it. Let me. Um, and for those who don't have Discord, let me send you a link to Discord. Uh, and all you do is post it in the portfolio section. All right, there's the link to Discord, and uh, then you can just post that into the, go to the portfolio section, and then um, and post your screenshot of your portfolio. We'll do a portfolio review. Uh, let me go back and read the uh, chat real quick and see what anything going on. Um, oh, I, I need a timestamp. Oh, that's one thing I forgot to put. All right. Jolie said, uh, I'm going to start with Citizen of the Year. Many many of are from diverse backgrounds. Some are street cleaner and some are accountants. Yes, yeah, Citizen of the Year. We have some very diverse background of jobs here. Jolie, Discord is telling me. Unable to accept invite. How do you I get into Discord? Uh, dude, if you don't know how to get in Discord, I you could have to Google. There's no way for me to explain. Sorry, brother, man. Uh, I'm, I try. All right, Joe, try and get in Discord. Texas Trade said, hello, people. How are you doing? We're doing great, Texas. Uh, yeah, Texas Trade said, long time no post. I will be good doing good on your high yield stock. Yep. Dude, we're making a lot of money, man. We're making a lot of money. And Texas Trace, I wasn't just cool, but I got out of it and I really put the five bucks back toward my ETF. Okay, so I don't know why you got out. I, Texas Trace, are you are you in Discord right now? Love to talk to you. I'm just curious. Uh, I'm just curious. To, I, I you, You're literally the first person who got out of it. I'm just wanna, I, I wanna ask you some question about that. So I'm just wanna like, David Dow said, you are 1% losing on Tesla cause I'm 1% losing on Tesla. Still loving it though. I don't, I don't know what he mean by 1% losing it. I'm making $7,000 a month. I don't think I'm losing it. And matter of fact, I'm going to continue to make money, you know, and then, and then eventually I already made my money. And when I hit May, I will make all my money back that I put on Tesla. Uh, what's your cost average? I, uh, Tesla bad because of Tesla itself. Yep. Not the fun. I'm buying for sure. I think you're negative 35,000. No, I'm negative 29,000. My entire portfolio is negative 36,000. And this go up and down. About four days ago, I was negative $41,000. Yeah, no worry. No worry, man. It go up and down. So, uh, but I... I already accumulate this amount already, man. I'm close. In May, it will accumulate this amount. All right. What's more important is the yield on... Uh, hey, uh, have smart... Well, listen. The yield is on the current price. If if I just came and then bought it, I would be happy. Yep. Tesla will recover. Tesla will recover. Yep. I totally agree. Still collect dividend during recovery. Yep. We still have dividend no matter what. We always get dividends. Uh, Joe Lee, I learned about Tesla after the reverse split. Yeah, I'll, the reverse split scared a lot of people. Uh, there's people that left, and there's people. There's more people came in. So, news on eight eight will keep going, in my honest opinion. I'm heavy in NVD. I think NVD will do well. All right. I want to try Tesla after the earning. Joe Lee, hey Joe Lee, you don't have to buy Tesla. I keep telling people all that. You don't have to buy Tesla. 
You can buy anything you want. There's so many choices now. So many choices. All right. I would not get Tesla if I were you. All right. Yep. There you go. Confused. Confused 26. Uh, y Max uh, looks very good so far. Yep. I totally agree with that. Uh, David Dow said, been in Tesla since July 2023, down 2000, with distribution include one year and five months to go. Yep. Awesome. Uh, posting face said, I 1,000 share, I want to reach 2,000 so I can make around 1,000 per month. Yep. Posting first is going to get yeah, 1,000 a month. That's his goal. Uh, oh, hey. Uh, Lost and Confused said, still waiting for my Feppy t-shirt. Hey, uh, a lot of people submit in. You got to you gotta contact them directly. Uh, I do have... Uh, Hey, good luck. You know, up to you. I, 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 do, I do have their phone number and uh, their personal phone number, but I'm not gonna share it to you on online. So, uh, but you can, you can figure it out to get a T-shirt. No, no big deal. You can figure it out to do it. All right. Good luck, man. All right. With that, let's go switch over to member portfolio. That's what everybody's excited about, and that's what everybody want to come and see and hear. All right. Um. Who's online right now? I'm gonna start with who's online first. Tony T. Tony, you online? Uh, Tony, can you hear me? All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me timestamp this. This is this is Tony T. Uh, I'm trying to get Tony T come online and, um, and so this is his portfolio he has 3,631 invested and he has one share NVD he has one share M MDY he has one share of Y max he has uh, well 1.5 not one share but he has QQY 5.44 shares and he has clear 40 shares he have Connie 16 share you have Tesla, 46 share, ULTY, 50 share. Uh, I like his portfolio a lot. Um, now, I'm not a big fan of these decimal uh, things. Uh, I, I just don't understand why buy decimal. Is that how Robinhood does it? You you put some money in, let's say $200, and it just buy things uh, percentage? Like, it, anybody have Robinhood can explain me? Tony T, are you, are you there? Can we talk about... It just buys a fraction of a share. So, so you, you can do say, that? Yeah. Yeah, if you say you want $2,000 and you won't get a round number, uh -huh. it'll buy the fraction. Yeah, I just I just think it's kind of weird to get 1.12 shares. Why don't you just buy one share and then buy two shares? You know, but that's okay. I, you know, if, if account has that capability, that's, that's awesome. So I like this uh, portfolio. It looked like, you, you know, based on this, it looked like he's going after the weekly pay. Did anybody, anybody agree to disagree with this? Because he get um, he get QQY on the first week, all right? And he got Connie and Yield Max, AMDY, NVD on the second week. He got Y Max and ULTY on the third week, and he got Clip on the fourth week. So he's getting paid weekly, uh, weekly essentially. That's what he's. It's, it's appeared. It appeared that he's doing that on purpose. Because you see, the weekly clip is 40 share, and ULTY is uh, 50 share, and then and he's growing that. His biggest fund generation is Tesla. You know that the second week. Um, this is good fun. I, I really like this. It's very diverse. It's spread out across all the week. As you 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 pretty much you're gonna get paid every week by somebody. Uh, I like this a lot. If you if I start off, I would do exact same thing. Um, one thing though, when you first start out, you know, when I first start out, I didn't diversify. I just went all in on Tesla and I own ORK and Clip, but not a lot. But I just, essentially my portfolio was just Tesla. So I maximize it. I wonder, I wonder what happened if with your portfolio, if you take the money here, let's say for example, the one share from NVD, the one share from MDY, the one share from YMAX, the five share from QQY and buy you know, one of these guys, you know, Clip, Connie, Tesla, and ULTY, these four, and 
I wonder if you I wonder if you can get more income out of that. Makes sense. Hey Alex, did you want to say something? You're on cue your mic, so I'm assuming you want to talk. Alex seven seven seven. Alex six triple seven. Okay. Uh, yeah. So I I like this portfolio. It, let me, is he texting? Is Tony T texting at all or chat? All right. He's not. Oh, you know what? I think he told me he was at work. Yeah. He. Yeah. I. I yeah. He's gonna. He's gonna rewatch this video. I'm sorry. I. I just remember that. Tony T. I just remember the conversation. I apologize. You at work. You're not gonna be able to talk. So you're gonna come back and rewatch this video. So. Uh. Yeah. I. I'm sorry. So. The first question I have is for you is. I. I, first of all, I love your portfolio. You don't have to change because I'm just making comments. The question is, have do you do you see it's a, be, a better return to maximize like four or five fund versus one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Uh, first of all, eight, these eight fund are absolutely perfect. If I were to go back in time and do it again, I would literally buy all these eight fund exactly what you have. Um, so yeah. I, I love NVD, I love AMDY, I love Vimax, uh, I love QQY. The only thing that's missing here that I would like to add is would be IWMY. Uh, other than that, I love Clip, I love Connie, I love ULTY, I love Tesla. Yeah, I would add IWMY uh, for that, you know. But other than that, your portfolio is an income portfolio. It's designed to generate income. You're looking at the highest yield in in pretty much in the New York in the in the exchange, these are all the top yield. The only thing missing is MST MS, MSTY, but you're talking about you know all the top yielders, yeah. So yeah, it's a good portfolio, Tony T. Uh, we'll talk some more when you come back from work. Uh, you can talk to me anytime. So we don't have to do in live streaming. Hey, okay. that was Tony T portfolio. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna go to the next portfolio. Uh, let me timestamp that one zero seven. Tony T. All right, the next portfolio is all right. Um, uh, Jinda, Jinda, you here? All right, Jinda is one of our richer uh, members. He. He is super rich. <laughs> Jinda, are you here? Okay. Um, so Jinda, uh, what what does Jinda want me to call him? Uh, he or she? I want to be. I want to. I want to do it right. I, I don't know. Does anybody know? Is Jinda a girl or boy? Because I haven't. I never hear him talk. He's a boy, as far as I know. Oh, he's a boy. Okay. And uh, okay, so Jinda, uh, yeah, I apologize if I got I got it wrong. So I I apologize. I I'm new to this stuff, you know. All right. So uh, Jinda is one of our richer member here. He's been our member for a lo long time. He loved Tesla. Tesla is Tesla is his baby. I want you to take a look how much he has in Tesla. Okay. Tesla he has six thousand eight hundred and forty six shares. This is after the split. Six thousand. When he went in, when 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 I first met Jenda. When I first met Jenda, uh, Jenda has money in in like very safe account like SCHD, um, Fidelity. You know, like I don't know, like mutual fund. He, he like safe, like very safe, and he has no high yield dividends. And then I, I made I made a comment and said you should you should take a look at you know some high yield dividend, and of course Jinda went all in on TSLY, uh, just like I did. He just went all in on it like kabam, and he so essentially he has if you if you double six thousand eight hundred, essentially he has almost uh, thirteen thousand shares of Tesla. Just think about it, thirteen thousand share of Tesla before the reverse split. That's crazy. 
Jinder and Matt, anybody remember Australia Matt? Yeah, uh, Australia Matt is a little bit busy right now, so he's still in our Discord, he's still in our community, he's still our sensei, and he still teach us and mentor us. So, don't get in your... So he, w he has 13,692 before the reverse split. 13,000 shares of Tesla. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. And let's let's do the calculation here. Uh, let's see how much money he get. I forgot what the number was. It's six six thousand eight hundred forty six. Okay. Six thousand eight hundred forty six. And and how much Tesla paid? Anybody remember? Without me looking. For this month. Tesla pay. Uh, fish, uh, sixty-eight four one cents. Sixty-eight cents. Okay. Point sixty-eight. He's making four thousand six hundred fifty-five dollars just from Tesla alone. Just from Tesla. That's pretty good money. It's awesome money. And uh, yeah. Oh yeah, because he yeah because he bought a lot. Yeah, cost average. This guy, if you buy something new right now, cost average is pretty low. This is, this is after the reverse split. Yeah, uh, Feppy. F, yeah, it has uh, Feppy. He has one thousand five hundred shares, so he, he has eighty three thousand dollars in there. Uh, XDTE. This is the weekly pay. He has one thousand shares. Oh my God, this this cat is killing. This cat kicking butts. He has fifty-two thousand dollar in there. QQI, that's a, that's the one I was gonna buy. And he has one thousand share. Spy I, he has one thousand share, and that's fifty thousand dollar. SQY, he has two thousand share. SQY you used to pay a dollar. Connie, man, you own a lot of Connie. You're making good money. Connie, one thousand five hundred. All right, how much? What what's the uh, interest rate on Connie? Uh, what's the uh, dividend on Connie? Anybody remember? 279. 279. All right, let's see how much he yep. made. 4,100. So between Connie and Tesla, he made over $8,000 already. <laughs> every month, every month he's making over 8,000. Yeah, this is a, this portfolio is killing. Just just Tesla and Connie alone, he's making over $8,000, all right? Um, MSTY, he and owned 1,000 share. Oh my God, I can't, I can't imagine doing the math of this. What is what is MSTY pay? It's like four dollars and something cents. Four twelve. Yeah, so that's four thousand. That's four thousand and uh, over four thousand dollar right there. MSTY. So between Connie Tusley and MSTY, he get twelve thousand dollar already. All right. IWMY is two thousand dollar. That's uh, that's another you know that's another two thousand dollar because IWMY pay one dollar. You know, so you got that's that's crazy. All right. Why max? Why max? Man, this portfolio is looking at least at twenty thousand dollar portfolio easily. Twenty thousand dollars a month. Man, you you should see you should see what uh, what Matt portfolio. I can't. I, I don't like to show his. He he sent me his portfolio, but I don't show it unless unless um, unless he's he's not here to to tell me he can I can show it. So I'm not gonna show it, but he's he did send to me. His portfolio is a lot, man. Matt portfolio is crazy. The the the, the three biggest Tesla owner that I know so far is Matt, uh, Jinda, Padma, and uh, and and there was there was a police officer from Pittsburgh. He owned like thirty thousand. Uh, Philly, Philly, he owned thirty thousand. Yeah. These are the these are the big, you know, thirty thousand. Word of Tesla. Just think about that. Oh, this Tony T just said something. Yeah, Jinda is generating real life income. It's unbelievable, man. Unbelievable how much money he made. Uh, 
Yeah. But but the beautiful part is that every month, every week, he's getting large chunk of money. Large chunk of money. This is over half a million in yeah. debt. And just just these um funds. I've seen I've seen all the screenshots of his boy. He has everything. He has yeah. uh three or four uh pages just like this of, of all the funds. Yeah. How much um uh, how much money he made per month. It's like thirty thousand dollars per month. Is that right? No, I don't know what. Um, oh, we'll, we'll get more, more. soon. Soon we're gonna we're gonna change our YouTube name. I'm gonna change our YouTube name to High Yield Dividends uh, Millionaire Club for Warriors or something like that. High Yield Dividend war, war instead of Warrior it would be High Yield Dividends One Million Club. I'm literally gonna change that because we there's a lot of people are getting rich. Uh, well, the first year you're not gonna get a, you're not gonna see a lot of people with a lot of money because you were building but the second year you start to see people expanding so think about I'm making seven thousand dollars a month by the end of this year I'm gonna make ten thousand dollars a month my my third year I'm on my pace to make twenty thousand dollars a month my I'm on pace to make twenty thousand so yeah my third year we're gonna make this we're gonna make we're gonna change we're gonna ch we're gonna officially change the YouTube channel name to the million the the million dollar warrior club you know million dollar warriors you know yeah oh so, uh, we're gonna have a contest we're gonna have a contest what's the best name for my YouTube channel yeah. Yeah, it's it's crazy. There's so many millionaire in our group now. Uh, not millionaire, but there's so many people making twenty to thirty thousand dollars in our group. It, it's unbelievable. It's 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 uh, you know, and, and we still have new people. We have you know we have new people. We have old people. The old people they're just making good money. All right. All right. You think he's rich? All right. Wait until you see the next guy. Eric, you there? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. <laughs> I love Eric. I love <laughs> Eric portfolio. <laughs> Why? Because Eric and I start pretty much similar. And uh, and let me close all the other one because I'm at my sister house and she's struggling with internet. Oh my gosh, <laughs> she she just came in. I'm like i like, come on, sis, what's going on? I'm like what's going on? All right, so we're probably gonna move. We're gonna. I'm going to I'm going to buy her I'm going to buy her a Tesla. I'm going to buy her a new internet router and uh and then and I'm going to buy a house next door. <laughs> we're going to we're going to we're going to yeah, this is great. I have 12 I have 1200 share of Tesla down 15,000 but happy with the dividends. Yep. Yeah. Everybody's happy. Sold your fortune. <laughs> Sold your fortune? That's a new name. Sold your fortune? Oh man, I like that name. Yeah, so this this is um yeah this this must surprise me. Yeah. Um, Coney, you know you know they did what Coney does. Uh, I missed the the little two hundred shares I got. You know, hit eight hundred and something dollars. So I was like, oh, oh, that's a lucky win. Uh, and the rest paid you know really well, especially NVDY. Um, I got a thousand shares of that, and so this month was like twelve six. And I have no margin anymore. Last month, margin was paid completely off with the dividends. So yeah. this is all my cash. For, for those who don't realize this, uh, just imagine my portfolio. And the difference was that he bought Connie. And remember I told you, you don't have to buy Tesla anymore. He bought Connie. And he bought... Uh, Connie is what in, inflated his, his, his portfolio. Mm -hmm. Connie. He has 2,400 shares of Connie. And he got this. He got this in the, the beginning journey of Connie when it when it came out, and yeah, this is twelve thousand dollars a month, man. That's unbelievable. Yep, I mean they say my yield on cost is one hundred and fifteen. I'm like, oh, dividend yield is one hundred and seven. What's, what's your advice? What do you what do you advise to all those kind of like not sure on the fence? Like, man, I want to make twelve thousand dollars a month. I want to make seven thousand dollars a month. Three thousand dollars a month. Like people don't believe us. They, they, they like, like I, I show them the, the, you know, the Charles Schwab account. I show them step by step, and every, every month it go up. So like, 
well, in June, I'm not going to talk about 7,000. I'm going to talk about 8,000. What do you say to those people, man, out there that, that just kind of like, what's going on? Like, yeah. Just stick with it. Let let the dividends do what they do. Because with mine, I started in January. It was at uh, my paycheck. The check was like 5,600. Yeah. Um, and I was like, okay, not a big deal. February came. It was 8,200. And uh, then everything started going ballistic. Coney was going crazy. NVDY went crazy. It's 1,200. <laughs> it's 12.6 this month. Um it has just you know exponentially climbed and i'm just saying to myself holy moly okay let's let's continue to hold tight and and, and ride this pony yeah because the goal for me is 30 30 grand that's when i'm gonna walk away from both jobs yeah are you, all my consulting work i'm done are you happy that you went to this journey are you happy that you you uh what well, now did you do this because of you found us or you did this uh, and then you, you just I found you in August of last year. Last year, yeah. August, when I seen you that video, when you did the stock screener, and mm -hmm. I was like, uh, and I, I I was buying a pool, and I was like, I don't want to pay for it. You know, he says this is a you know pretty you know cool deal to make some money, and um, I was like, all right, this. So I bought enough Tesla to pay the pool off. You know, every month in the pool guy, and so after the first. You know, first few checks, I was like, hold on, this thing is doing, it's doing what it said it's going to do. So I just started throwing more money into it. And I started using my margin to, you know, buy other things, uh, like just regular stocks that were climbing. And I mm -hmm. just bought them and sold them. And then I just reinvested the money into these funds. And they just have been just killing it every single month. So, <laughs> I man, you just don't know. I feel like a kid in a candy store. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm so happy so, for you, man. Now, uh, how how are you going to pay your taxes? Are you doing to your W two, W four at work? No, actually, um, I'm I'm waiting, uh, and uh, just going to see what's going to happen because I know some of these companies have been paying, uh, you know, return of capital, mm -hmm. and um, and so I'm like, all right, and so and since I do a consulting business, I get to write off quite a bit of things, uh, you know, so it helps offset my taxes too. And then sometimes I'll, if I buy something, I'll just hold it for enough time so that it'll give me a little bit of loss and right. I'll just sell it and just won't get back into it. And so I'll use that as a um, tax shelter or clawback. Yeah. Yeah, there's nothing but, wrong with that. You don't have to pay. You, yeah. could just, you could just you could do your taxes uh, next year and then whatever yeah. the amount, you just pay it and you just call the IRS and say, I'll make monthly payments. And then that that by that time you're gonna make like twenty thousand, but next year, and then yeah. you're gonna take that money and make the monthly payments, and you'll take whatever the payment you need to pay it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. That's one way to do it. All right. Yep. This is awesome. But yeah, man. What what yeah, advice you have for what advice you have for like uh, the new investor? Um, they brand new. They just start just out. You know. Brand new. Yeah. Trust in trust like, into the pro, trust the process. Just trust yeah. the process. Um, it works. I mean, this is this is not like a scam or something crazy. You know, there's some of the max funds that haven't done well. Not a big deal. Stick with them because even if they're down, they're still paying you. They are yeah. still paying you, and that's the goal: is to continue to supplement income by using this, and eventually this will exceed and supersede your actual income, and so. You know, three, four years from now, you're sitting back going, do I really need to this this job that I don't like? Yes. Um, do I really want to keep doing this? Yeah. Um, you know, you have choices in life now. You have a lot more freedom, flexibility. Yeah. Um, like I said, it's paying off my pool. I'm feeling actually it's paying the mortgage, the pool, car note. <laughs> At twelve thousand dollars, dude, you can pay you can pay pretty much, pretty much everything now. Yeah, everything, yeah. Yep. And the paycheck is his sister, it's like, okay. And so I just, like I said, I don't, I don't put any more money into this. Um, I kind of stopped when you said, you know, it's starting to, the machine is starting to feed itself. Yeah. And so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna stop. I'm not putting nothing else into it. Yeah. And you don't so need to put it. This year, it's, it's crazy. Why yeah. would you? Like I make, I make seven thousand dollars a month. Why would I need to put a thousand five hundred in there? It's puny. Exactly. Puny. Yeah. Exactly. Puny. I just, I, I gave that money to my my girl, and I was like, hey, hey, hon, just go, go buy whatever you want to buy. Yeah. 
Whatever and you want. So, yeah, just enjoy. Yeah, but like I said, man, I thank you, Matt, Claude, yeah. all you guys that have put out a lot of good advice, a lot, a lot of good information. Trust me, I would not be sitting in this position if I haven't seen your video back in August. This is bananas. So I'm, I'm <laughs> like I said, I smile and pinch myself every day because I don't think this is real. But hey, if the simulation is real, it's real to me. <laughs> yeah. And the thing is, I, you know, I know Eric for a while, so I watch his portfolio grow, you know, to this amount. I remember when you were, what's like 6,000, 8,000 or something like that? Yeah. yeah. Yep, exactly. And then and when he bought Connie, I knew, I do, but at the time, Connie was pretty cheap and uh, oh, it wasn't paying a lot. And um, and I was like, oh, oh, dude, dude, dude. I, I was trying to buy Connie, but I, could, I couldn't afford it. And... Um, and as soon as he as soon as he bought Connie, I knew that his portfolio is gonna explode because it's literally double the price. You know what I mean? Double the payments. Mm -hmm. And um, and uh, <laughs> you definitely surpassed me, man. Awesome job, uh, awesome job, my friend. Like uh, I said, man, I, I thank you just for putting out the advice. I mean, because I, I just literally followed everything that you was you and all Matt and and Clyde and all you guys were saying, and I just. I just said, you know what? I'm, I'm a, I'm, I'm a, hold tight on this. Be patient, like Matt. You know, watch the charts like Clark, and uh, you know, listen to what you put out. You know, what's yeah. going on? And I'm like, okay, let's, uh, let's definitely, um, just hang tight. Let's, let's see, let it do what it do. Yeah. And uh, you know, so, man, she, you just don't know. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I am, I am just super excited. You know, this. Uh, I mean, this is like an extra hundred and forty-two thousand dollars on top of my my current salary. You know, it's yeah. like all right. <laughs> same thing. Same thing. My 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 portfolio is seven thousand right now, but it's on top of my ten thousand mm -hmm. dollars a month. That, exactly. Yeah. yeah, it's been it's been it's great, man. Yeah. All right. Um, let's see. Do you have what is your future plan uh, with this portfolio? I think you say it, but I want to clarify it for everybody. Else. Yeah, it's it's a it's a five year plan. Literally, the five year plan shows that if it continues to be, it doesn't even have to be the the the, the funds doesn't have to produce two dollars a share. I think I have Coney at a dollar, everything else at sixty cents, and I would say twenty thirty at the end of twenty thirty, my it's saying that I should have a total of sixty thousand dollars a month. All right, is what it's saying. That's what my uh, the analyzer is saying. And this is just at you know very very modest um, <clears throat> modest numbers. Like say for example, Nvidia was paying a dollar. Uh, QQY was paying sixty cents. Misty is paying less than a dollar. Is what I have the charts, the numbers configured at, and. Uh, it's still telling me that at the end of 3030 to our 2030, excuse me, 2030, it says I should have about $2.6 million a year, which comes out to be a month. Uh, where's my monthly chart? I'm sorry, I got that wrong. So it's. 200 hold on is that one two three four one two three that's two hundred and sixty six thousand dollars a month um if i just keep letting this ride and just keep rolling as is without yeah. messing with it no more investments no more putting any more money into it yep that's it what do you think of this goal here uh eric uh well Jinda just came online so uh but Jinda, if you if you can hear me so my short uh my my three year goal is my first year is accumulate as many shares as I can uh, on on Tesla you know clip and stuff like that and to build set myself to get three thousand dollars a month my uh, my second year which is right now twenty twenty four is to get to ten thousand dollars a month and I I'm on pace to achieve that so my third year which you can see I'm growing because I'm trying to do that weekly pay eventually every single day's fund here. It's gonna get. It's gonna be either a thousand share or five hundred shares or hundred shares. Just think about that. Every single income fund gonna have like a thousand share, and there's like fifty of them. That's wow. like that's almost like fifty thousand dollar. Because at some that's point, a at some point, you're gonna make twenty thousand dollar. Think just think just think of the math. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna make twenty thousand dollars a month. Well, 
if you buy I, IWMY, let, let, let's IWY. Let me just give you perspective so you can. Kind that of second work. one down from the top. The second yeah. one down from the top. Yeah, right there. Yeah. So if you buy IWY, it's it. The current price is sixteen dollars, and and it's paid one thousand. If you make twenty thousand dollars a month, you can just buy IWY. Kabam! You drop sixteen thousand dollars that month, and you get one thousand share. Done. Mm -hmm. Now you go, you roll to the next one, <laughs> and then the next one J E P Y. Kabam! One thousand uh, share because it's only seventeen dollars. You see what I'm talking about? Yep. And 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 the next month now 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 you're in March, January, February, March, and then you're twenty thousand dollars. Guess what? Spy T still under twenty thousand dollar. Bam. Mm -hmm. Well, you still have left over from all these other guys because they, they were not full twenty dollar. Guess what? You can buy Trace one thousand share. Essentially, you can twelve. You get twelve share, twelve assets because you do this every month. Twelve assets, uh, and that you can essentially buy, get to a thousand share just like that, snap and pop. Well, yep. And guess what? Every one of these funds give you about a thousand dollar. So. So you start off at twenty thousand dollar, but the next month you get twenty one thousand. Next month you get twenty two thousand. Next month you get twenty three thousand. Next month you get twenty four. By the time you get down there, you're like thirty two thousand dollar already. You know, yeah. And, and you're just dropping one thousand at a at a time. That's crazy. It's crazy how fast these things move. Next thing you know, you're gonna buy all of them. Then you gotta move up to the next bracket, the forty nine dollar stocks, the fifty dollar stocks. <laughs> I see I, I don't even know if I would move up to them. I would I would just keep buying these little twenty dollar ones and call it a day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You don't even have to move to forty dollars. You can just buy this because guess what? Another one's gonna come out. They come out like every month. <laughs> yep. Yeah, there's gonna be another one. Uh there's always another one. You can just buy them and keep coming up. Uh would you ever would you ever go back down below fifty cents, you know, like the J E P I, the Global X, the C L M. No? Nah, nah, they the you not the juice is not worth the squeeze. Yeah, you're not puny getting, now, huh? Yeah, you're not getting your money's worth you're not getting the more bang for your buck. Yeah. That's how I look at it. Yeah. I totally agree. It's just like yeah, it's just like the calculation that you you showed, you know. If you wanted, you know, if you want, you know, fifty cents a dividend, you know, why would you spend 60 bucks or 50 bucks to get that when you yeah. can spend 15 dollars to get that yeah yep well said man well said that's awesome eric thank you uh I... man not a problem man anytime yeah awesome man that was fun love talking to eric all right uh nat p nat p are you are you in the house is nat p in the house this is portfolio uh, Nat P, I don't know if you uh, can hear me. Um, so Nat P portfolio is eight hundred and forty-seven dollar. Obviously, he's just starting out. He's, he didn't reach a thousand yet, but that's okay. It take time. But guess what? He has nineteen shares. He have eighteen share QQY. He has clip. Uh, so that amount, he essentially getting what almost roughly fifty dollars at least. No, oh, twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. I have to do the math for him here. Yeah. Yeah, he's getting you know twenty, thirty dollars, and sometimes, sometimes start that way. Just work twenty-five dollars at a time, thirty dollars at a time, just a little bit of time. If you can't do anything else, hey man, I'm gonna get. It looked like he's getting fifty dollars here or forty dollars. So if nothing else, I'm gonna just set a goal that. This month, my goal is to make twenty dollars this month. That's it, thirty dollars this month. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make thirty dollars. My goal is to get thirty dollars. Kabam. And then next month, because that thirty dollars is always gonna be with him. It's gonna be with him for the rest of his life. So and then the next month, I say, okay, I'm gonna try to get another thirty dollars. I'm gonna get another thirty dollars. I'm gonna get another thirty. And just keep trying to keep keep trying to be your goal for that. And eventually, you're gonna have, you know. Two three hundred dollars a month, a thousand dollars a month, you know, and and then it's gonna compound even faster. Yeah, you gotta be in Discord. I just it's hiring time. 
So NAP, I just show you the portfolio, but you're not in Discord, so it's very difficult to talk about this portfolio. Uh, but hey, keep up the journey, man. You're doing well. I like this fund. I like Tesla. I like QQY. I like Clip. It, if you get if you get ULTY, then you cover all the week. All the week. Yeah, yeah. The only thing that the only thing I said, hey, take a look at buying ULTY. So you got Tesla on the second week. You got QQY on the first week. You got Clip on the fourth week. You get two LTY for the third week. You pretty much get weekly pay. It's a good portfolio. I like it. I like this a lot. All right. All right. Take care, man. Okay. Let's go to the next guy. This is awesome. All right. This is Anonymous Perfect. Oh, wrong one. Sorry. Uh, Anonymous, are you in Discord by any chance? If you are in Discord, come on in. Uh, well, first of all, I like your logo. Uh, I like... It's a pretty cool logo. Alright, so Anonymous. Uh, Anonymous, perfect. If you in Discord, yeah, just come in and I would love to talk to you about your portfolio. Alright, so you have $11,000... Uh, almost $12,000 portfolio. You have a $12,000 portfolio. I'm going to call it that way. And it's going, it's, it's doing great. It's went up. <laughs> so, which is better than a lot of us, better than me. Uh, let's see what you have. JEPI, you have 56 shares, all right? Uh, SPYG, you have 15 shares. Spy G, I'm not from, what the heck is Spy G? Like, I don't know. Oh, yeah, now I know what it is. It's an SP500 spider. Um, yeah, this is State Street. So this is like Spy, like the other one. Uh, I don't know. My, see, I don't, I don't own Spy, so I don't, I don't really follow it. What's the difference between Spy and SPDR portfolio? Because Spy, essentially, it's also the S&P 500. So what? why are there so many? There's SPY, there's SPY C, there's SPY D, SPY G. What the heck? Growth, income. SPY D is growth. High dividend. And SPY G is growth. That's interesting. I didn't. I did not know that. Uh, let me click on SPY D income. Okay, well, how much income you getting? Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. That's essentially uh, JEPI, but at $39, so it's much cheaper. Yeah, interesting. I, I, you know, this is the first time I'm kind of like, I see Spy G. Is there another one? What? There's a whole bunch of one. There's a value one. <laughs> There's a fossil fuel one. What the heck? Uh, here's SDY, dividend ETF. Oh my God, there's so many SP. I didn't realize how many there are. Holy cow. Wow, here's all the State Street one. Holy cow. You might as well, if you own this, you might as well just own the mutual fund. <laughs> just buy the mutual fund. This is crazy. It's crazy how, how many there are. Wow, what's the cheapest one in State Street family? Oh my God! What's going on with this account? It doesn't sort. All right, I was gonna. Well, anyway, let's go back to our portfolio. This is the first time I see Spy G. That's why I had to look it up. I I, just, I never seen Spy G before. Uh, 15 shares, and then uh, QQY is 67 share. Tesla 320. At uh, that's a pretty good price. And Tesla is green, so that means she bought it very low. Uh, spy T, this this Spy G and this Spy T, but that's that Spy T is not State Street. That's uh, that's the income version of it. Y Max two fifty. Yeah, I like I like this portfolio. Very balanced. Um, you know, uh, get some you know Spy G which is index based. You know, J J E P I another index based. Q Q Y is index based. Spy T uh, another index based. Y max is pretty much the yield max. So 
it's a very uh, very it's a very good play very conservative play uh, it will hold maintain your portfolio yeah that I can see why your portfolio going up and um, because because you own a lot of the index a lot of uh, I mean Tesla is probably the only thing that's down if you would depend when you buy it I don't know when you buy it this is why one of the things I like to do the portfolio review I like to talk to the people because I'm going to ask question why you do the things you do and what was the decision what was your thought process and what's your future you know if you were to change something what would you change these are the type of question I would like to have dialogues about that dialogue conversation is what create interest and motivation on to grow their portfolio it's give life to the portfolio you know um Replace QQY with IW on a hold and hold the nap better. Uh, yeah, that's just your opinion. I like QQY, but that's just opinion. All right. No, I appreciate it. Uh, this is good. All right. A uh, anonymous perfect. Love your logo. Uh, uh, if you see this, we love your portfolio. Thanks for sharing. I appreciate it. All right. Does anybody else want to jump in? I, I seem like I'm just didn't doing all the talking in the moment. Anybody want to jump in or share their portfolio? Okay, um, we got a few minutes here. It's 8:41. One of one of the questions. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Let's uh, let's ask the question. Does anybody have any question for me before I change the subject and go on to something else? Uh, I already did the member portfolio, and uh, if you have any question for me, you go and ask me in ch uh, in YouTube, in chat. Uh, I haven't looked at Twitch. Uh, let me look at Twitch real quick. All right, so I right, give me a second look at Twitch. All right, see anybody make any comments? Nope, nobody make any comments. Yep. All right. Uh, all right. So we got a few minutes. I, I want to talk about this. It's the most common things that people ask me all the time. It when they, you know, they is there's two there's two common things people ask me. Uh, number one is the thirty-six thousand dollar negative number here. That's they always ask me that. They're like, "Oh man, your portfolio is down." The second one is, "How do you play margin?" Uh, I want to talk a little bit about margin, how I play margin, and um, you know, I, I play a little bit different from unconventional wealth. Uh, uh, unconventional wealth, uh, Todd. Uh, I watch a lot of his video. I saw I saw his video today. I think th today video was. A much better video. Somebody must have talked to him, because he still talk about CLM. But at least, at least he explained it's a video with with CLM and Feppy. Like, why is CLM better than Feppy? I'm like, oh my god. Uh All right. Today, today's video. Yeah, right here. In today's video, we're gonna. Yeah, this one right here. In today. Why is Cornerstone better than Feppy? <laughs> All right, um, I I disagreed with a lot of things he said in this one, but I totally in understand because we're both in the same gonna... idea. We're both in the same same hemisphere. We 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 shit everything. I like Feppy a lot. I don't own Feppy. I don't own a lot of Feppy right now because it's just I don't remember everything I do is based on priority and based on phase planning. So I just do planning. Okay, so once I hit that milestone, then I move on to the next one, one milestone. So Fepti is on my list to buy. It's just not right now. Right? It's just, it's, it's, but I still buy. I still own Fepti. I own like one share here, one share there. So like here's Fepti, I own four shares. So every time this thing go down, I will buy it. But it's not, it's not moving out. Hey, Fepti, okay, what makes Fepti special? Fepti, 
not not that I went there and you know at at New York and you know celebrate Feppy, but one thing about Feppy is it give you what the heck? Why does the market just drop like that? Fifty five ninety to fifty four sixty seven in one drop. Oh, that's weird. Does anybody know what's going on? Like, why does it... It literally dropped almost... A dollar. After hours. You're, you're looking at Feppy after hours. Yeah. It's not the market, it's Feppy. Okay. That's crazy. Something, something weird. I right, so... Couple of things, uh, you know. Uh, he he's comparing CLM to Feppy, so we're just going to analyze this for it. Okay, let's take a look at CLM. So I'm going to write this price down: fifty-five ninety. That's the closing price. Okay, CLM. CLM is seven dollars and seventy-six cents. Okay, let's do let's do the calculation. So, if for fifty ninety divide by seven dollar and seventy six cents, how many share can you get in there? About seven shares, okay? Seven shares difference, okay? Seven share difference. You can get seven shares of Feppy, right? I'm not sorry, seven shares of CLM for the price of Feppy, right? Now remember, Feppy is paying over a dollar, right? Well, how much is how much is CLM is paying? CLM paid ten cents. Ten cents. Ten cents. I want you to think about that, okay? So there's seven dollars times ten cents. So about seventy uh, about seventy cents, right? Okay? Seven share time point seven. I'm I'm sorry, wrong wrong number. Where is backward? Okay, point point one. All right, about seventy cents. So if you buy seven shares of CLM, you get seventy cents. If you take the same price and you buy Feppy, you get one dollar. All right. I want you to think about from that perspective. One is generating, it's it's not just a dollar, but it's more than a dollar. It's generating like, uh, let me give you a sec. Uh, it generated like a dollar something. Yeah, a dollar 19 cents, almost a dollar 20. It's average, it's average a dollar 15 to a dollar 19. So about average a dollar 18, roughly 17. That's, that's very good. It's given pretty good yield, you know, and compared to CLM. So you, so f for the bang for the bucks, I think to me it's not there. I, I mean, if I have a choice between CLM, I would just buy Feppy uh, because it gave me more dollar. So an income investor, I'm looking from that perspective, but Todd is not looking from that perspective, and I understand why he's doing that. So because he's looking at the margin maintenance. CLM, if I own CLM, I get a 30% margin maintenance. Now, I'm, I'm Charles Schwab, so I can't do that, all that trickery that he does, all right? But if I own Feppy, my Feppy is also margin maintenance of 30%. This is the only, in my portfolio, Feppy is the only one that has a margin maintenance. Of th uh, it's the only one with 30% in my portfolio. Isn't that crazy? Because all the other ones, 40% or 50% or 100%. Feppy is the only one, 30%. SCSU, did, did you go through every single one of your file? Is, is, any, one of your, is any one of your income uh, at 30%? Is SCSU in? Oh, you know what? I, I think he left already. Yeah, he, he's not in. Uh, so 30%. Remember, the reason why he's put money in CLM is to generate, uh, to get 
to get margin, you know, to get a lot of margin. And ah, I totally understand it because one, he can buy on the nav, so he's paying six dollars instead of seven dollar. We totally understand. And then, and then he's getting I don't know how much margin he get thirty percent, twenty percent. Great, he can he can get a lot. But I use Charles Schwab. I don't have that, and my CLM and Feppy is the same. So in my situation, I rather just own Feppy. One, it gives me the same margin maintenance. Two. Feppy pay more in terms of dividend for my bang for the bucks. I get I get a better dividend yield. And plus I can grow my margin. That's the reason why I want to own Feppy. In comparison to what Todd was talking about, CLM versus Feppy. So when you you know when you're new to income, when you're new to investment. Take the time to analyze what I just analyzed. I just watched other people's YouTube channel and he said, he just said CLM is cornerstone is better than Feppy. And he has five reasons. He lists the five reasons. One of them was that the the maintenance, he played maintenance in it, right? But he doesn't mention um, the yield, like the, the actual payout because he, he knows that Feppy is better. They pay, will pay more money. That's why he didn't mention it. But that's okay. There's many ways to skin the cat, and uh, and uh, and and take take some of the information. So take my information that I'm talking, and analyze it too on your own self, and learn and discover. It. So when I saw this video, and today's when I saw this video, I just went and did a quick research on it. I said, okay, well, Feppy pay a dollar and nineteen cents, and CLM pay ten cents. Well, what's the difference of that, right? And then. Well, then the margin maintenance, I say, what's the difference between the margin maintenance? They're all the same. They're both the same, all right? So if they're both the same and you want to grow the, the margin and you live off the fire style like, like Todd does, what what's what should you put your money in, CLM or into Feppy? In my case, I would put it in Feppy because I'll make more money. It's just a different way of, of, of playing the games and depend on your brokerage too. Obviously, my broker does not support, you know, uh, like what he does, you know, and, uh, you know, drip on the nav and stuff like that. So, yeah, but I just want to share you with that. And I, I want to, I want to close it with that way. You know, like this people make YouTube video all the time, take the time to analyze their numbers, you know, and, and be a better YouTuber just, uh, or be a better, uh, viewer, take the time, especially income. You're not watching, you know, Fresh and Fit. You're not watching a dating channel. You're not watching, uh, you know, I don't know, like uh, repair the channel. You're watching finance that you're gonna put your livelihood on, your your investment, your fortune and fame, not fame, your fortune in it. Take the time to analyze their numbers. Take the line. I, I welcome people to analyze my numbers, you know, like, hey man, I'm open kimono. I always show, I always show people my portfolio, always. And um, and so I have no problem doing it. I said, here it is, man. Here is how much I'm making. And uh, and I want to improve on it. That's how I want to improve on it. I hope that helped a little bit. All right. Uh, Chris Kindle said, no margin is no depth. I use mandatory overtime my job to buy extra share. Enough stress in the work. Place without more payments to work. Keep it simple, don't get overwhelmed. No margin equal to no debt. How much margin should you use at the beginning? Um, so Chris, I'm, I'm trying to play this nicely. You don't have to play margin. You don't have to use margin. You can still become very successful without using margin. But can you imagine making money on somebody else's money? You make money on somebody else's money. I'll give you an example. My portfolio. Let's go to my portfolio. All right. My $73,000, all right, that money I use it to buy Tesla. Tesla right here. It's sitting in that $73,000 sitting there. 
if I sell out of my, if I, if I want, if I want my margin to be zero, I sell out of my Tesla, I sell out of my equity, and that will bring it down to 73, bring it to zero. That's where the money's sitting. But that $73,000 is generating me two to $3,000 a month. And my interest is somewhere between $600 to $700. Okay, so if I'm making $3,000, I'm just going to keep, keep it simple, man. I'll make $3,000 a month and my interest is $700. I'm, I'm, I'm taking home 23,000, uh, 2,300, 2,300 every single month, free money. Yeah, it's, it's free money. And that, that's, that's why. And, and, and if for whatever reason, nothing will go, I just sell my Tesla, sell this and kabam, no more, no more margin. And that will solve that problem. But this seventy-three thousand is giving me this seventy-three thousand give me two thousand dollar to buy something else. Well, in ten months, I have twenty thousand dollar of account. That mean you know, it's just beautiful. It's you. You're so. The purpose of margin is is. Well, I don't know what the purpose is, but the way I play it is essentially I'm using Charles Schwab money to generate more money. That's it. That's why I'm doing it. I hope that clarified, that explained it, and um, I hope that helped a lot. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if you're hearing that music in the background, that means my show is coming to the end. I got about four minutes left before, uh, before not, oh, yeah, three minutes left before nine o'clock. Okay. Uh, this is the first time in a long time where I start my show at seven and I'm gonna end at nine. Normally I just run it a little longer, uh, but I'm gonna try to end at nine uh, exactly so I can get some sleep. I just, you know, and, uh, Hey, thank you for, for liking the channel. I love the channel. And thank you for everyone for following me. I don't ask for a subscribe, but if you want to subscribe, it's fine. I prefer people who want to be high yield dividends and people who want to make money on dividends. If you have no vested interest in making money on dividends, don't subscribe to us uh, because that's all we talk about. You, you're just going to be an odd place. Uh, if you want to make money and you want to get rich, eventually we're going to change our name to, you know, high yield dividends for millionaire club you know I, i'm telling you because a lot of us are getting rich a lot of us are making good money and uh and and we'll continue to make money we'll continue to get rich and um yeah you're more welcome to join us oh retired dividend just joined you <laughs> i thought i thought you were gonna i thought you went to sleep i saw you i saw i saw you post on twitch uh, that you're you're exhausted. Yeah, I'll I'll stick by for a few minutes and retire dividends, <laughs> just for you. Uh, I didn't see KC today. KC, where are you? Love you, man. Um, no, retired dividend man. You know who I miss? And Boogie, man. And Boogie. And Boogie. Uh, I miss Ann Boogie a lot. Uh, I, I sent him, when I was in New York, I sent him a message. I said, hey dude, I'm in New York City. Come meet up, let's buy a drink. But, you know, he's busy. He's at work that day. So, um, you know, I did I did ask him to come come over and get a drink. Oh, a Suns late baseball game. Dude, man, when I, was a, when I was a little boy, I threw a lot of baseball. I'll tell you, I just... For hours and hours, just just throwing baseball into a little a little box. Just keep throwing it, keep throwing it, keep throwing it. Yeah. Yeah. I have 
I have no patience to teach people. It's just crazy, man. I <laughs> I like I like playing sport, but I just when I try to teach people, it's a uh, yeah, baseball. I I love baseball. I wish I uh, that retired dividend. I tell you, I I dream to play for the Red Sox. I went to watch every single Red Sox game when I was in college. Um, I think it was my freshman to my sophomore year. I can't remember. It's my sophomore year, junior year. I can't remember, but. I went to every single Red Sox game, every single home game. Isn't that crazy? That's how much I love. Back then, the ticket was cheap too. I would just buy the standing room tickets, you know, for like two, three dollars, and I would just hang out with the game, just watch and just chill. Yeah. Oh, hey, so uh, I'm, I'm glad to see retired dividends here. I re love to see everybody here. Hey, guys. We do this show every Sunday, every Thursday. That's our live stream schedule, and um, you're always welcome. We in our dis uh, in our Discord, we do daily discussion daily from five to seven. Uh, right now, I'm just I'm I'm a little bit busy because I'm traveling. I'm I'm hanging out uh, with my families and stuff like that. Um, and so, but once I get into a normal schedule, normal rhythm, uh, everything will be fine again. All right. Hey guys, so it's good to see you all. Uh, take care. Uh, peace out, everyone.